right what is popping what is good everyone um we are now in 3.1 i was actually going to do this last night um because the game updated this is the day after the update um but when i came home from work it was like oh 40 minute update and i was just like oh okay so then i started playing cyberpunk yeah i started playing that game um because uh the anime was great <laughs> not that i wasn't i was i mean i was already playing the game before the anime came out but um last time i played it was like in february yeah, last time I played it was in February. It's September now. And I was just, uh, if y'all haven't seen Edge Runners, go ahead and watch that. But anyways, and as the game already, um, when the game down or updated, like I was already too far into Cyberpunk. I was just like, oh, you know, what? I'll wait till the morning. Um, I actually just got done doing my devotion. And um, yeah, <laughs> so I'm hyped. I'm hyped to play now. Oh, I don't have to do any voice acting. Let's go. Astra What's up, you little puppet? Come on, Hi, Captain. Me the pop. Do you have any commissions for us today? Commissions, huh? Hmm. Let me think. I already did my oh. commissions. How about this? Please attend the Academia's Academic Symposium this afternoon and recite a love poem on stage. Uh, wait, say what now? And if possible, please also use your camera to capture the reaction of the audience upon finishing the poem. Huh? What kind of commission is that? You can't do that. The audience would definitely have a reaction. I see. It appears that you're not interested in this commission. In that case, please go to Port Armos and convince the Aramites there to spend some time volunteering at the local orphanage. Hey, that's not any better. All right. Mercenaries and orphanages really don't go together. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the mercenaries will have some interesting reactions as well. Uh, Paimon's gotta ask, just who exactly has been submitting these commissions to the Adventurers Guild? Oh, the commissioner? Mm, well, actually, I just wanted to see the two of you in action. Oh, yeah, you're Kusalami. <laughs> Is it so obvious? I was hoping you would actually take one of those commissions. That kind of chance to observe humans doesn't come by often. Ah, so it's Nahida. Paimon just knew Catherine wouldn't crack those kinds of jokes. I refuse to call her Nahida because that's her demon name, and I don't mess. I don't mess with demons. Said, demons are very real, y'all. Despite what y'all say or so not. I've been sleeping ever since we parted ways, and I even had a really, really long dream. Hmm. So the Akasha can't take away the dreams of God. It was another dream about the Subzerus Festival, except it was a happy one. In my dream, I was sitting in the middle of a flower terrace, and everyone in Sumeru City was holding hands as they danced in circles around me. They danced round and round, and everyone looked really happy. I also got to sit on a gigantic flower carriage. Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, raised me really, really high above the ground. And I was throwing an endless amount of Yalda candies at the children. You know, Nahida, maybe your dream is how the Subzerus Festival really should be. It's meant to be a joyous time where everyone gets together to celebrate your birthday. Nah, ain't no joyous time right here. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Wasn't I describing a really happy dream? Why are you both looking at me like that? Wait, could this be an example of the emotion known as pity? <laughs> no, no, we are pitying you. That would only make everything worse. We just don't want you to feel too sad. By the way, have you had a chance to visit Dunyarzad? How's she doing? The homies haven't allowed any visitors to the festival, so we haven't been able to check on her. Yes, I paid her a visit right after I woke up. She was resting at the time. Her condition is stabilized. However, since Elazar is a manifestation of the withering on the human body, we can only cure it by finding a way to take care of Ermansalt's own withering. But for the moment, our top focus should still be figuring out what the sages are up to and what they're planning. Right. 
Who knows what'll happen if they manage to pull off another scheme like the Samsara of the Subzeru's Festival? So, our first priority should be investigating and putting a stop to the Sage's activities. As for how we should pull that off, let's discuss it somewhere else. There are too many adventurers around here. Oh, good point. Uh, sorry adventurers, we're gonna be borrowing Catherine for a little while. Terrible. Alright, dreams, emptiness, and deception. Let's go ahead and get this started. I kind of, like, I saw the trailer for 3.1, and if Kusalani is inside Catherine right now, I can see okay. what... So why a certain thing happened. On how we can investigate the sages, Nahida? Actually, I've already done a little bit of work on that. But for now, I want to hear your thoughts. All right. Possesses a key figure in the academia. Possesses a student to infiltrate the sages' quarters. Uh, we could grab someone close to the sages and question them. We're in the dark as of now. Since we still don't know anything about their goals, any rash move could tip them off and lead to terrible consequences. I don't like the idea of possession, After though. After all, every person in Sumeru City is one of their hostages. You're legit taking the will away from somebody by doing that. I don't like that. Um, possess the... Excuse? No way. That's too risky. Okay. You mean it'd be too easy to get caught? No, it's not that. We shouldn't involve innocent students in this. A single mistake could completely ruin their lives. Mm. Doing that I didn't think of that. Ignoring the safety of my people for my own selfish goals. How is that any different from what the sages are doing? I mean, aren't you already doing that by... Spoken okay, like whatever. God of Temeru. I've already tried that. But all the what was the point of me answering these questions? Even the core of 30 cards. Poyo verse trying to prolong the story already, terminals. It seems that from the very beginning, they've been guarding against info leaks from the Akasha. Of course, it could also be because they're weary of me. Have you already caught the sage's attention? I'm guessing not yet. But this trusting me would make perfect sense if they've ever paid attention to the urban legends about me. Urban legends? In any case, I probably can't take over their minds directly. Hmm. Can't think of anything else. Hmm. Are we really out of ideas? Nahida, you're super smart, so you already have something in mind, right? Don't keep us in suspense. Spill the beans already! According to a popular theory from the Vahumana Darshan of the Academia, rejecting impractical motions at the beginning of a planning session will give more weight to the actual proposal. Okay, okay, but aren't you the god of wisdom? You don't have to use that kind of gimmick to make us take your ideas seriously. Well, I've been thinking that if I can't directly possess the leaders, and if I can't get ordinary people involved, then I should find someone who's already involved, but hasn't decided to side with the sages. You're saying we should recruit a spy? Hmm, that does sound like it could work. Well, we know one guy that could help. Oh, before coming back, we met someone named Al Haytham. He seems like he acts alone, and he likes doing stuff behind the academia's back. They probably aren't in cahoots. Oh. Actually, I already have someone in mind. Do you still remember that female scholar named Sataria? 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 No. Paima remembers now. What is that? Isn't she the one who's always trailing behind the Grand Sage of the Academia? No. We ran into her basically every time the Subzero's Festival repeated itself. Did we? You could even say we're old enemies by now. Who are we talking about? She remembers the smug and mean way she always spoke to Nilu. Oh. Mm -hmm. I yeah, a legit a character who had like one speaking role. And okay. Has I was like, always stood about? out from the crowd. Did she? She was born in the desert and was hailed as their greatest genius. Her academic gifts allowed her special admission into the academia and also gave her the opportunity to serve as the sage's I'm assistant. Trying to figure, like, who are you talking oh, about? Oh, Paimon didn't know she was from the desert. She must be pretty special then. 
Paimon feels like most of the desert dwellers around the city are working as mercenaries. Not the all of them. Sitaria means star. When she lived in the desert, she shone like the brightest star in the night sky. Later on, she was chosen by the sun. The star was given a place in the daytime sky to complement the sun's dazzling light. Soon after, the star witnessed the sun scorching the earth, which brought forth many disasters. The star began to waver. Instead of staying beside such a sun, wouldn't it be better to return and light a part of the night sky? But in the end, she couldn't give up the radiance of daytime. To cope with her shame, the star buried her guilt and closed her eyes. Mm. It's no longer just a metaphor. From the sound of it, Satari is just hung up on the research opportunities here. But she doesn't really support the academia. She still feels guilty about not doing more for the desert, right? She's just running away from her problems. Indeed. When they are presented with complex moral issues, Many people will simply plug their ears and go with the flow until the problem can't be fixed anymore. She's suppressing a lot of guilt, but before she realized it, she had already become the sage's accomplice. She can't deny her part in their schemes anymore. Sounds exactly like the person we need. Right. We must somehow make her face her problems again. That way, not only can we get useful intel from her, but she can also use it as an opportunity to redeem herself. From my past observations, Sitaria will take a day off from the academia every 10 days to do some shopping in the city. Tomorrow afternoon just happens to be a shopping day for her. That'll be our chance. To prepare, let's go check out some of her favorite spots and have a quick chat with a few of the vendors there. Oh. All right. So, I did the trials for um, the trial run for Sinnoh and Candace or Kadaki for all you people who are like, oh, you're your name really. Um, Sinnoh is, he's okay. He's only fun when you have his burst up, in my opinion. These are my opinions, guys. Candace is cool too. Um, but she seems more of like, you know, she seems more of a support. And with her shield, I'd rather have her as a DPS. Because, you know, you can block and keep fighting. But that's just me. I don't know. Her cooldown on her block seems pretty long. So. Have you become troubled over your fates? The divine voice of wisdom often echoes between mine ears. If thou be blessed today by the gods. I may be able to show you the way. Why are you talking like huh? this? Really? Nahida, you've been whispering things to her? Uh. Shh. <clears throat> My friend here has some doubts regarding his future. Can we get a fortune reading for him? Oh, she's going to go back to her voice. Hmm. <laughs> of course, of course. In that case. What <laughs> I don't believe in fortune telling, tarot cards, or any of that stuff. It would seem that Astrology. <laughs> I hate it when people are like, oh, what's your sign? And I'm like, get out of here with that. Perhaps oh, that's the devil. The past, <laughs> I, don't, I don't mess with any of that. Somehow offended the gods. Hmm. Only mocking the god of Animo, questioning the lord of Geo's financial savviness, and brawling with the god of Electro. Do those count? Yeah, we did cause up some trouble. Oh, nothing. Go on. Pick an aspect for her to divine. Ah, prospects of love or health. Um, let's go health. Health prospects. No problem at all. Oh. <laughs> the gods have spoken. The truth shall be revealed. I guarantee, I guarantee everyone else pick love. Your life shall continue on for... For... Huh? Many, many tens of thousands of years? <laughs> impossible. Marut, Marut, did you two spoil my divination? I've never read a fortune so absurd. <laughs> uh, Does that actually, mean we're gods ourselves? Adnan thinks this is probably the most accurate fortune telling you've ever done. Yeah? <clears throat> I admit. 
admit that the orientation of today's celestial matrix is, uh, suboptimal. As such, there will be no charge. Is that so? Well, that can't be helped. If you were to bring some food offerings for Hart and Mart on your next visit, perhaps they could help you reverse the wheels of fate. We're good. What was the point of going over there again? Is this another one of Sataria's favorite stalls? Yep. It belongs to a king. His father helped Sataria a lot when she first moved to Samari City, so she still comes by whenever she has time. Oh, so I saw, I saw an interesting fact, guys, that um, the travelers that you pick, that yeah, that you pick and you know the names that you give, those are aliases, because apparently, apparently Aether and Lumine are keeping their real names a secret, so they go by whatever you type in as their alias on this in this world, uh, apparently. When they start talking with them, because I think when you see your twin, they refer to you as your real name instead of staying silent and seeing in the text your ah, name. Ah, dear customers, would you like to look at some pottery? No, I'm good. We caught wind of your great craftsmanship, so we specifically came to take a look. Oh, I recognize you. Aren't you Miss Catherine from the Adventurer's Guild? <laughs> Sounds like I'm in for some big business. Speaking of... Where did you learn this trade? I suppose you could say it all started with my dad. He's a mason by trade, but I picked up an interest in clay. A mason? Oh no. Him. After that, I began making pottery by myself in secret. And I simply changed trades when my works turned out well. Although it's a pity that I'm no longer making much use of the knowledge provided to me by the Akasha. So is your father still working as a mason? Oh no, not anymore. A few years back, he fell from a roof and broke his leg. Ugh. Since he had already saved enough mora over all these years, he's just enjoying the retired life in Port Ormos nowadays. I see. We wish him peace and happiness in his retirement. I'll have someone in charge of logistics at the guild come by another day for some goods. We'll leave you to it. Take care now. No problem. Rest easy. All our goods are sure to meet your every need. So I heard that um, Tumblr is letting adult content back on their website, which I'm not all for adult like content. You, you know what I mean by adult content. Um, adult content of the uh, degeneracy side. They're letting that back on to um, Tumblr. And if that is true, that may also mean that all the weirdos on Twitter will be going back to um, will be going back to Tumblr, and Twitter can finally be a place where everyone can walk free again without having to be feared of being canceled. <laughs> which I still can't, which I still don't believe anyone can actually really be canceled. But you know, that's whatever. She's working at the academia, so she always comes by whenever she's out in the city. Nahida. You've really thought of everything. <laughs> it's my duty to protect Samaria's citizens, after all. I hate her childlike voice on Catherine's grown woman body. I hate that Kinda. so much. I feel like I've seen you down by the docks before. No. Huh? Sorry, I don't quite remember. If I recall, you were having a discussion with someone about shipbuilding at the time. Ah. Uh. That's right! I've always been really interested in feats of marine engineering. After all, I grew up in Leeway Harbor and spent my entire childhood staring at the I was about to say, her outfit looks different than everyone port. else's. I came to Sumeru to study. Keyshawn? I, to make it into the Keyshawn. I know a Keyshawn. Lack of talent. But I'm still discussing all kinds of problems with different scholars. And I'm continuing to study and perform research from the restaurant's basement. I'm sure I'll get to the academia after their next round of exams. What an admirable spirit for learning. Amazing. Uh, sure. But you'll find hardworking people wherever you go. So this restaurant has a basement as well? Huh. First I've heard of it. That's right. 
It's not usually open to patrons. Most of the time, employees use it for breaks or to hold private events. Mm, cool. I see. Yes, that makes sense. Well, good luck with your studies, Miss Chishan. <laughs> Thank you so much. As long as I can make it into the academia as an official student, I'll be happy. Cool, cool, I suppose. All right, we're still doing all of this. So, was that everybody? Mm hmm Three familiar faces should be enough for Sataria. Uh, what's the point of all the information we've collected? Nahida, you still haven't told us how you're planning to make Sataria face her problems. Sataria is always used to avoiding her problems. So we must find a way to break through her usual sensibilities. Gaslighting. I remember that you mentioned that the Aramites in Port Ormos are all making a fuss about the upcoming resurrection of the Scarlet King. Although it's all just a boatload of nonsense, mm. the faith of her homeland may turn out to be Sataria's soft spot. Gaslighting. Oh, Paimon gets it now. You want to take advantage of the guilt Sataria feels about her homeland. Gas lighting. Well, she knows she should return home to help the people of the desert. All she's done is conspire with the sages. All right, the king died. Was the criticized for actions? Yeah. Hmm. So how do we set that up? Well, the Scarlet King is long gone, and Sitari is also too smart to fall for any simple tricks. If we simply engaged her under the guise of the Scarlet King's believers. She would definitely be weary of us, and we may not get anywhere. But if we were to borrow some of her close acquaintances to talk with her, her reaction would probably be very different. So you mean you're going to possess those people we just talked to? Yep. Possess them through the Akasha. Imply that they've already converted to the faith of the Scarlet King. And then convey our made-up will of the Scarlet King. As long as everything goes smoothly, we'll get through to Sataria for sure. She'll never guess that we had anything to do with it. Ah, so that's how you're going to use all the info we collected on these people. It's so that you won't slip up and break form. Possessing them will only work if you can manage to pass off as them. Exactly. So, best of luck with impersonating them. Huh? Best of luck? But we don't know how to possess anyone. That's no problem at all. I'll just share all their senses with you once I've possessed them. As long as you're also wearing an Akasha terminal, the effect will basically be as if you've possessed them yourself. Oh, huh. God. That is pretty convenient. But why does he have to do this? Can you do it yourself? Although I've been observing humans for a while, I've never been good at imitating them. Hmm. You're not wrong. It's always been painfully obvious whenever you try to pass as Catherine. I'm trying my best. If it was at all possible, I would have preferred to leave these people alone. Do I have to do certain actions? Because I don't know if I'll be able to do this correctly. Because I was not paying attention to how they were acting. I know one girl liked boats. The other dude. And let's give it a go tomorrow. Father okay. broke his leg, and the little chick did divination, right? All right, so now you have to wait till noon tomorrow, which is like a whole 24 hours. So, guys, still haven't finished my, um, yeah, still haven't finished my, uh, what's it called? My Trails in the Sky, um, first chapter playthrough. Gosh. <laughs> That game is taking forever. I didn't realize that game was gonna. I didn't realize that game was as long. I'm like 97 hours into it, in like 72 parts. I got part 72, um, recorded, but I haven't uploaded it yet. I think I. I think part 71 in about an hour and 10 minutes, 12 minutes, it's gonna come up soon. It's gonna um, show up on the account. Oh, that's her. Okay, she's kind of cute. Here she comes. Satori is here. Oh, here Let's she quietly goes. follow her. Once she starts talking to her acquaintances, we'll find a safe spot to begin possessing them. As for how we'll sway her to our side, we won't. I'll leave that to you. 
I trust you'll know what to say. I do not know what to say. Please do not trust me with this. I feel kind of nervous. You should. Okay, let's go. You should feel very like nervous. Already started talking. Let's find a hiding spot and get started. I don't know, y'all. It's something about the stern look of a woman sometimes. Just. It's just. Ooh. <laughs> that sounds bad. What is this? Uh, uh, that, uh, <laughs> That's right. You really can't force anything when it comes to love. And besides, everyone around me has a very different background and outlook. Uh, are you still listening to me, Nabia? Yes. Yeah, oh, of course I'm listening. You were talking about troubles with your love life, right? I heard everything you said. <sighs> okay then. You just seemed a little distracted for a moment there. Strange. The cats seem pretty worked up. Is something wrong? Yeah, they know it's not I her. I thought they were quiet, happy kitties. Oh, what are their names again? Haru and Maru. Oh, that's right. They are just little darlings, aren't they? Haru and Maru. <clears throat> I do remember that. So, which fortune do you want me to read for you today? You must have come for another echo of the divine voice of wisdom. What? That was a weird cut. Hmm. I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects, but to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like I've been a real mess recently. Dang, man, you've just been, you been going well, through boyfriends? Um, could you do a reading on how long it'll take me to finish my current project at work? I really just want to <laughs> get it over with. I hear you. No problem at all. Uh, the gods will reveal the truth. Um... Oh. I love the... Mm. Now that the gods have spoken. <laughs> Sorry, your new laugh is just so hilarious. I couldn't help it. Oh, uh, please pay no mind to those kinds of details. The gods are asking, Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? Uh, why haven't I gone home? Oh no, y'all, she kind of cute. The gods really Sitaria. Everything I've been thinking about. She got that melon Sitaria, in her skin. <laughs> why don't you just go That means home. nothing to me, but still. It's a demand now instead of a question. Uh, the gods seem to be truly upset. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I know I failed the gods. Please pass on my most sincere apologies and ask for their divine forgiveness. And if I may ask, Nabia, is there a specific god who's speaking to you right now? What? Hmm. What an inconsiderate and naive question. The god who is speaking to me is, of course, the wisest and mightiest of all. The Scarlet King. The S Scarlet King? She did not mouth Scarlet he King. Would make such a demand of me. Oh, wait a second. The Scarlet King passed away a long time ago. Even though news of the Scarlet King's resurrection has your been gods aren't like real. Fire, it's all <laughs> I'm just sorry, a misinformation campaign from the academia. How can the Scarlet King still exist in real life? Hmm. King, whatever resurrection is a is a misinformation campaign. What insolence! I am the Scarlet King's most loyal believer. Do you wish to refute his voice of wisdom? Oh no no! As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that his divine glory has touched even this city. <sighs> I will think very carefully about his demand of me. I'm sorry. I must go now. Yo, you got to gaslight the crap out this woman. Uh, she's on to us. She's definitely on to us. Ooh, she just ran off in a hurry. She looked pretty upset, too. Well done. Sataria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. What if she renounced the Scarlet King? That must have shaken her to the core. Aw, Nahida, 
It seems like you understand human emotions really well after all. All I know are some abstract Haribata theories. And in any case, my time with you has shown a lot of them to be utterly useless. I'm still trying to make sense of- It's already sunset? But it was like 12 o'clock- Okay. Let's hurry and catch up to Sataria. There's no way that much time has passed. Hold up. Bro, she spent from from the noon till six o'clock talking? That's crazy. They need to slow this time down like they do in Cyberpunk, man. Oh. All right, time to it's gaslight. Okay. I just got caught up in something. Oh, actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Crap, I forgot what it was. Masonary? Oh, right. Masonary? Your old man's craft. Right, Masonary. I forget. Speaking of, how's he doing? Is he feeling any better? Uh, he's feeling a lot better and he's walking more now. Oh, that's good to hear. I've been thinking a lot about him. If I could get some more time off, I'd love to pay him a visit. Actually, while we're talking about him, is he still living in Port Ormos? Yeah, he's been retired there for a while. If you could find the time, please write him a letter. Please pass on that recently, faith in the Scarlet King has taken root in Port Ormos and has begun to spread across Sumeru. He has a quick temper, and has always been a devout follower of the Denger Archon. I don't want him to get into a fight with those Scarlet King believers because of a difference in beliefs. Oh? So, who are you siding with in all of this? The Academia or the Scarlet King? Uh, I... <sighs> I'm so jealous of you. You were born a child of the desert. Yet you chose to betray the Scarlet King, and now you spend all your time with those crooks from the Academia. Yo! You don't mean you've also become a believer of the Scarlet King? Bro, we're what gaslighting so the heck out this girl right now. a believer of the wise Scarlet King. In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? C can't pick a side? Me? She's no. bad. I had no idea you'd be so good at this. He's like, I used to gaslight the crap out of my sister all the time. <laughs> oh, man. Before I knew it, it really started getting on the roll. <laughs> wasn't too harsh, was it? You really zeroed in on the issue and put it right in front of her. It might feel a bit overwhelming for Sataria. But once everything is over, Bro. I'll be sure to pay her um, a visit to her mind and explain everything. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, this game needs to be called Gaslight Impact, because that's basically what it happened. That girl was running. Come on! Sataria's already started talking. So, Shishan, have you noticed anything weird in the city lately? Like, as if someone was trying to preach to you about something? Um, uh, no, I've been spending all my time studying the basement. Crap. Uh, I'm gonna say... Basement? Oh, right. Speaking of strange things, I celebrated the Subzerus Festival so many times that I lost count. That was really weird. Wait, how could you be aware of that? That should be impossible. Nothing in the report indicated anything like that. Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumeru's citizens? Shishan, uh, uh, don't tell me that you've converted to the Scarlet King as well! What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. In reality, shouldn't you be the one who is ashamed? You, who worked side by side with the Academia, and treated people as nothing more than experimental subjects? Please, please stop! Yeah, we broke this girl. Even now, Satari is still trying to run from her 
problems. I push too hard. She can no longer justify everything to herself. Hey, she's trying to talk to the guards. What should we do? This is the most important part of all. Quick, get ready. Mercenary, you're a member of the Corps of 30, correct? Please help me pass a message to the Matra right away. The situation in the city is getting out of control. Please, try to remain calm, miss. Tell me what's happening in the city. Heretics are infiltrating the city, and they've already converted many residents to their side. Heretics? What kind of heresy are you talking about? The Scarlet King! Many people I know have suddenly started believing in him, but he's long dead. It's impossible. Miss Sataria, nothing is impossible. Y you know my name? The Scarlet King is immortal. And all who defy him will one day pay the price. Yo! You face the truth, Sataria. You tread a treacherous path. And the longer you ignore it, the tighter the academia's grasp on you will become. And the deeper you will be ensnared. Child of the Scarlet King, never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one the one who still can't yo i feel aside. so bad right now <laughs> you just gaslight the crap out of this woman what an absurd question you make it sound like i should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the scarlet king sataria why haven't you gone home Seems that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of the Scarlet King. I have to say, this is a familiar feeling. I've also been running from my guilt this whole time. Guilt over my part in the Sage's plans, and from ignoring the letters from the children of my homeland. But no matter how much I may try to ignore and get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. Alright, you just fall, yeah. Not too late to turn back. You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides, did you really want to conduct your research while carrying such heavy feelings of guilt? <sighs> How do you know me so well? Are you truly just a believer of the Scarlet King? Or are you the god himself? That's not important. The important thing is to pass judgment on the Academia and its sages, and to correct their mistakes. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. I've actually never believed in the gods, but I've always believed in serendipity. Your appearance must be a fated opportunity for me to get out of this wretched situation. Please tell me, what can I do for you? Great, we finally convinced her. <clears throat> How much do you know about the Sage's current activities? I was just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest Scheme, which is what happened around the Subzerus Festival. But I know very little about the full scope of the overall project. I'd assume that only staff with the highest clearance would have access to those confidential documents. I've just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. However, there's something that's been really bothering me. I heard that a scholar who was previously expelled has returned to the city, and even the sages are still quite wary of him. An outcast of even the sages are wary. We know who that is. To fight against the academia, we will need to figure out the nature and the purpose of their work. Is there a way for us to get access to the confidential documents you mentioned? It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage, and I've been working on many tasks outside of the project. One thing, though, I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the Akasha once I get my hands on them. The Sages have always closely monitored all activities within the Akasha. Um, let me see... Uh, let's use the most primitive method. Send someone to pick up the documents tomorrow evening at the Academia entrance. The Academia entrance? Wouldn't that be too conspicuous? Don't worry about that. I assure you, this won't be a trap. I'm only suggesting this location because it'll draw more scrutiny for me to leave the Academia again. It'll be safest for me to distract the guards long enough to hand you the documents. Alright, I trust you. So, uh, 
If I were to successfully complete this task, would it mean I've atoned for my wrongdoings? Um, that'll depend on the judgment of the Dendro Archon. The Dendro Archon? That's right. Her people are the ones we have endangered. As the God of Wisdom, she's also the one responsible for judging and guiding the scholars. Maybe it's time for me to find a god to believe in. Just as Nahida predicted, we've managed to bring Sataria to our side. The Traveler's execution was ingenious. He's the one who deserves all the praise. Well, now that we've made plans to meet again tomorrow evening, all we can do is pray for Sataria's mission to go off without a hitch. Pray? But if we're going to pray to the gods, aren't we just praying to you? God of wisdom and guardian of the scholars? Mm -hmm. No, no. The truth is the true guardian of scholars. I've always believed that. Anyway, let's meet again tomorrow evening at the Adventurer's Guild. Man, we... <laughs> we legit gaslight the crap out that girl, man. What time did it say? 19 out? 1900? Where's that? Do I feel bad? Not at all. <laughs> but I'm just like, I mean, I did, but I was just like, man, this is the craziest case of gaslighting that I've ever seen. I've seen some, I've seen some gaslighting firsthand. I'm just like, oh, wow. <sighs> oh, it wasn't technically the following day. Let's do this again. Oh, dragon spines in the background. Oh, my eyeballs. The sun just came in and said, whoosh. I think that's the first time I've ever seen the moon um, move. Catherine in your mind. All right, can't we just... Yeah, I refuse to call her that. Shh. We're on a secret mission tonight, so we need to protect Catherine's identity. Yep, Paimon's right. We cannot fully rule out the chance that the meetup tonight is just a trap. If something were to happen, my existence may be the only trump card we'll be able to play. After all, the Academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside world. Yep, Whoop. yep. Exactly, just what Paimon was thinking. I somehow doubt that. Mm, anyway, enough <laughs> about that. Let's just make sure to be on our guard. Speaking of which. Off? What do you feel is off? Alright, it's just a little too quiet around here. It's the middle of the night. Of course it's quiet. Seven, 19? It's 7 o'clock. Are you? No, I think he's right. Or is it 19? It really is a lot quieter than yeah, 19, usual. 19,700. Or 7 o'clock. There seems to be fewer people on the streets. I'm not sure if this is the case for the entire city, though. Huh. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe Sataria figured out a way to not only distract the guards, but also to get everyone to go to sleep early, just so we can exchange the documents in peace. I also can't quite figure out why things feel a little off. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and meet her as we plan. Well, regardless... As long as you're here with us, Paimon feels a little safer. Who is that? I don't know you. Um. Huh. No. There really aren't many people out right now. Let's hope it'll be this quiet in front of the academia and that Sataria managed to distract all the guards. A few people over there. What is she snitched? Yeah, I still got to do that side quest that's up here. I have not done that. Um, I've been legit holding that off. I think I'll do... I think I'll take a weekend where I'll just record all the side quests that I can. Since we're back on Genshin. So, yeah. Ooh, cutscene. doing here at this 
tower of the night. Oh, these are people who actually have, who do believe in the Scarlet King, probably. Ah, the triumphant hero returns at last. No. To a rather spectacular. Is that a Fatui? Even if I do say so myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed, I am. Although these days they tend to call me the Doctor. Hey, let's go. The if you're looking weeks. for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. Dang. With some basic caution she could have discovered. He kind of looks like Eula a little person. bit. Clearly, she lacks the degree of kind of expected of a true scholar. The people of Samir City. What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. Cut him down. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. What should we do? These are all just regular people. Leave now. You need to get out of here. You're gonna die. But that guy's a Fatui Harbinger. We can't just leave you here. Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru. <laughs> she put him to sleep. That mass hypnosis? So her magic has like digital stuff in it if you look closely. You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be the god of wisdom. Well, he knows. Should be far enough. <sighs> Paima needs to catch her breath first. Uh, is the Hida going to be okay? We only made it out because of her. Now she can jump between mines. Hopefully she'll be fine. Paima wasn't counting on running into a new harbinger here, let alone such a high-ranking one. That guy was number two. So scary. Was he number two? I completely missed the number. The doctor. Remember, Tainari told us about him. Sataria did say that someone who once got expelled from the academia came back recently. See, I thought they were I thought he was talking about the one guy. Yeah, that they were talking about the one guy that we met in part one back in Port Ormos. Um, but I say part one. Um, but you know, you know, you guys know what I mean. Oh uh, yeah, we went to Port Ormos. I thought they were talking about that guy. And that even the sages are weary of him. And I don't even remember Tainari. Yeah, I don't even remember Tainari talking about this guy. But I have to go back and look, because I don't think I reacted to that. The last time I report, the last time I actually reacted to a Fatui Harbinger being name dropped, at least, was um, the first Genshin video I posted on this channel, which was um, Yelan's story quest. But yeah, well, we underestimated the scale of this problem, or no, we underestimated the parties involved. Yeah. In the picture, we're no longer just dealing with the academia, they're in cahoots with the Fatui. But what are the Fatui after this time? We need to find is a way to re Gnosis? Yeah, we need to find a way to reunite with Kusalani. Yeah, things would be a lot easier with Nahida's help. Nahida said we'll meet again outside of the city, but we can't just keep waiting around, right? All right, well, let's start our own investigation. Uh you mean it's time to go find Tainari. Oh right. Wasn't he invited by the sages to work on some project when we were staying with him in the Vidia Forest? That has to be the same project. Even though he turned it down at the time, he might still know something. There's no time to lose. Let's go to Gundarvaville. Let's go. Gundarvaville. And that's all the way 
out here, right? All right. Let's go find our buddy. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> wrong way indeed. Oh, man. So what game... If you guys have made it this far into the video, what games are you guys playing? Um... I do I, I say stuff like this halfway through the videos just to see how long are just to see where people if people actually watch the entire thing or if they only watch part of the thing because I'd be keeping I'd be keeping up with the stats sometimes I look at it and it'd be like oh yeah average viewer two minutes I'm like dang it am I that boring I feel y'all <laughs> I see it sometimes I don't see it I don't actively go out looking for like the stats or whatever but I do notice it sometimes I flew Bowling right by the right point. there a blonde-haired traveler and a floating fairy. We've got caught her a fairy. Right. Take a look around. You've fallen right into our trap. You really want the smoke? Are you mercenaries from the Corps of Thirty? Did you come here to arrest us? Corps of Thirty? We're nothing like those government lapdogs who don't even get scraps for their work. We are an elite brigade that commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru. We're here on the orders of a client known only as the Outcast. Mm. The Outcast? An Outcast from the Academia? Sounds like the Doctor. But why wouldn't the Doctor just send the Fatui after us? Because this is a different Outcast, most likely. Local mercenaries might have an edge over on the Fatui. Still wasting time on idle chit chat. We'll shut you up soon enough. I don't want this smoke, y'all. So we're really doing this. Y'all really want this smoke. Y'all really want this smoke, huh? They really want the smoke. That was pretty rough. They really wanted the smoke. Is that what elite mercenaries are like? I mean, if there was, they're just the joke. Look at Paiba, she's so concerned. Oh, you know, well, it won't be long before these right before we see more yeah. of them. Looks like we'll have to keep our guards up. But this doctor guy seems like a pretty tough opponent. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that we would try to find Kainari? Look at her, she's so, uh, she's so adorable. Going up against smart people is tough. Paimon got a pie face. Anyway, let's keep going. He's like, what does that mean? She just got a chubby face, that's all it is. <laughs> Alright, let's go find our, let's go find our boy. Alright, maybe it was our boy, yeah, maybe it was the outcast guy. I was thinking that one dude, because we haven't seen him yet. I think he said he went back to what's it called? Oh, hey, it's Kale. Oh, yeah, we got a free Kale um, for this event, too. I'm pretty sure y'all seen. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, well, yeah, I got a free Kale. And mm, Candace, mm, Candace, you, Candace, you look good. <laughs> Candace look good. That's all I got to say. Oh, it's, a it's a shame that Paimon. I'm not what wishing on any of the two banners, because I really want her. Oh, hey. it's nice to see you again. Oh, don't you mean Kadagi? Shut up. Right? To be honest, I'm not doing too well. My Elazar has been progressing at a faster rate lately. I'm finding it harder to complete more intricate tasks. As a result, Master Tainari is taking me off the patrol schedule. He will only allow me to stay here and coordinate other people's tasks. Oh, Kale. Well, it seems that carrying a Marissa, Imbracel, is our only chance. Speaking of Tainari, Master Tainari? He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party CI. Huh? He left? But isn't Tainari always saying that he never wants to leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation. I thought it was weird too. Master Tainari always prioritizes his work as a forest watcher above everything. 
He almost never leaves his post. He left in a hurry this time, though. He didn't give a reason? No. I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I just realized there's a quiver. I he had something urgent on the, to take on the thing of. towards the right. Two hmm. quivers. Master Tainari originally studied in the Amorta Darshan of the Academia. And part of CI is something like the Amorta's research base. Many rare shrubs and grasses have been planted there for research. I know that before he became a forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research at Party's CI. A research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party's CI. Gotcha. Alright, take care of yourself, Kale. Uh, don't worry, I'm fine. I'm used to living with Elazar by now. If you run into Master Tainari, please send him my regards. We got yeah. you, girl. Will do. See you later, Kale. I had already made up my mind, to be honest with you. So I didn't try to hide my current condition. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Cool, cool. Let's go find Tainari. Oh, yeah, he's over here. This is where we last left him anyways. Has he been here that entire time? Oh, there's Catherine. Wait, look who it is! Yeah. Thank goodness you're okay. We were so worried about you. All right. You haven't been reprogrammed by the doctor, have you? Hey, this was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining the moment. Shut up, Paimon. We're still Actually, with you. It's very smart of the traveler to be wary of me right now. After all. The doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. Plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after we split up and I was facing the doctor by myself. Wait a minute. How do we know he didn't capture um, Kusalani and he re he actually did reprogram Catherine to sound like Kusanali? Um, because, I mean, we've seen Signora beat Venti. Granted, only to get thunderclapped by, <laughs> oh, by Raiden Shogun, but hey. Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm can occasionally pass as a patch of sky. Hmm. Paimon feels like only the real Nahida could come up with such an obscure analogy. Hmm, I agree. Huh? But I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. All I wanted was to clarify my point. Well, we understand that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what happened. Are those poor people all right? When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations. That was still within my power to fix. Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him just as he was about to capture me. Whew. What a relief. The doctor sure pulled out some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. I wouldn't be relieved just yet. I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's minds, which means we've lost another one of our trump cards. Also, the doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness inside the Akasha. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Then how do we stop him? He's still at the Academia, so it's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. Our position will only get worse with time. Ugh, it feels like he's toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Plus, the Doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatui. We shouldn't give up hope just yet. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. Actually, Nahida, how did you know we were trying to get to Party Stii? Have you been waiting for us? Yes, I have. I can see the Traveler's elemental energy, so I deduced your destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find any leads? We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. 
Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay. Let's just hope we won't get him into trouble. All right. Let's see. Where are we going? Up here? All right. Yeah, this is where we last found him. Because he should have that um, ruin guard crab thing with him, right? Oh, it's old girl. I forgot her name. But the first woman we ever saw in Sumeru. I recognize Traveler. that name. Hypatia, that right. Hypatia. It is you. Ah, the voice. It's Hypatia. Oh, long time no see. Ah, what a pleasant surprise. It's so nice to see the two of you again. Who's this? She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. When we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh, what's it called? Satyavada life? Oh, I see. That's right, we're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Hapasia, you're way too excited about this. Actually, for you to leave the Avidia Forest means... Oh, you're not in training anymore? Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pariporna life? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, yeah, My she's consciousness the... has already managed to make contact with the divine. Oh, yeah. <sighs> you did it? Congratulations! Hmm, happy for you. <laughs> it's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last. When my consciousness made contact with the gods. Ah, oh, what a supreme and unparalleled experience that was. Ooh, that girl shaking like she on drugs. But then Kusalani's like, well, I don't incredible. know what she's talking about. I never talked to this girl. Actually, we're here for Tainari. Oh, all right. Uh, actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. Remember? I promised to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. My current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the divine. You... you can do that? You believe her? I've never heard of anything like that, but... If you want to give it a try, I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit Borneo with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. Uh, we're using that incense again? The stuff that got me high? Right now. Hold my hand. I'll help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. Okay. Why do I feel like I can't trust Hypasia right now? Ready? No. Oops. It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god, my creator, my mother. Valuing strength above all, she saw no worth in me and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. before his mortality he broke his promise to me humans they can't be trusted and the gods fill me with pure loathing so I said good riddance <laughs> I denounced the world and laugh in its face <laughs> my chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty. A blank slate. 
and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> There is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. I'm confused. Why did they show us this if this had something? To... I don't know. That's weird. But I was I was completely wrong about Scaramouche. I had a uh, I had a um actual different theory about Scaramouche like way back in the day when we first met like when we first met him before Inazuma even came out completely different um after learning more about him but yeah um anyways this is neither great of Lord Kusalana yeah did we actually just see the Balladeer's memories yeah everything matches what we know about him but how is he connected to the divine consciousness that Hapasia was talking about you saw it right you felt it right such a majestic god. She's been deceived. Such a noble will. Such sublime emotion. This is how I expect people who be who, shame. who get tricked by uh, the one down under or the one that will be down under. That which beats within my chest wasn't a filthy mortal heart. Oh, great and merciful god. Please grant me forgiveness and salvation. Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no peri in a life, but rather... Wake up, Hypasia. You! Why are you so mean to me? Why is everyone hiding from me? I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? Nah. Yeah. That's how I always thought everything should be. Wait, have I... Already lost my mind? Hmm. Wait, I, I don't something know. isn't right. I don't know how you could have found out found your whatever it was from what you saw. Ah, yeah, this is the scene that I saw in the trailer. I know what's about to happen. That that boy slid. Oh, we did the Why can't we do this stuff in the game? Genshin, fix, change your fighting mechanics. I'm assuming Kusalani is going to be in the next banner. I see you. Uh. So Scaramouche has his own Susano now? A mechanical Susano? What, what does he have to do with any of this now, though? Because first we have the Doctor, and now we have the Balladeer here. Right, Paimon found Tainari. <sighs> okay, we finally lost him. Where did he come? Where did Tainari come from? <sighs> Are you okay, Nahida? Wait, no, something feels different. <gasps> You're back. Oh, okay. Oh, the traveler's back. Oh, girl is in my mind. Uh, it's me. Nahida was controlling your body for a while. Seemed like she jumped over to you as an emergency measure right before the Catherine puppet was destroyed. After that, Tainari heard the commotion and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries and then he ran with us all the way here. All right, this time she didn't just transfer her mind into her body. What? You swapped places? You mean your Wait. consciousness also went into Nahida's body? I didn't see that ruined guard over there. Wait, then where is Nahida's consciousness? Where is she now? I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. 
Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I only like Tainari because his haircut looks like Android 17. And Android 17 is my favorite character in Dragon Ball also, Z. Also, while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, The doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness, so I can't journey with you anymore. But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. All right, then. Kate is trapped in the sanctuary of Sura's daughter for good this time. Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty vague. Hmm. It's in a code that only we know. Oh, that makes sense. Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing. She's being extra careful. Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Huh. Paimon knows the moon illusions and lies are from the alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? It had something to do with Sataria. Yeah, the moon refers to Nahida herself. The starlight refers to the people of the desert. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Huh. Do you think Nahida was telling us to go find help in the desert? Possibly. But she isn't with us anymore. Uh... Think we'll be okay? Probably not. Paimon, you said Sanctuary of Surasthana. Does this mean that this Nahida you're talking about, the consciousness who was occupying the Traveler's body, is the Dendro Archon? Uh, your guess is correct, but the situation's a bit complicated, so it's really hard for us to explain right now. That's all right. Uh, a scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for the complicated nature of the situation, safe to say I have witnessed that for myself. I've spent some time with you, and it looks like the Dendro Archon's also on your side, so I trust you. Thank you, Tainari. Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. What do you know about the project that the Sages have been working on? Ah, that. While I was indeed invited to join that project, the Sages were always secretive about its scope and goals. So I eventually declined. All I know is that that project has something to do with the restoration of Ermansoul. Hmm. I think I know what the project is about. Huh? Did you see something when you were in Nahida's body? The Academia is turning Baladir into a god. What? Do you have any evidence? I saw a, uh, under construction. Apeja also showed us a so-called divine consciousness. Hmm. Yeah, that boy, yeah. It's crazy on, like, how similar so he's trying to make his stuff sim uh, to... That explains why Hepatia's to Raiden Shogun. Granted, hers scholars who went looks mad. a lot smaller, but it's you guys... because she made contact you guys know how it with looks. the consciousness of a new god who is still in the process of being born. Tainari, did you leave the Avidia Forest because of Hepatia? I did. I noticed Hepatia's mental anomalies... But since her symptoms were rather atypical, I secretly took her to Pardee's DI and began searching for a way to return her to her normal self. If I didn't take action, Hapasia would have already been taken by the Matra to the desert, doomed to a life of exile at Aru Village. Now that you mention it, I knew the Academia has never thought particularly highly of Lesser Lord Kusanali, but, but I still didn't expect them to do something as arrogant as creating a new god. Looks god. like I made the right decision by not accepting their invitation. Hmm. The Futui is also, yeah, is also behind some of this. The Doctor and the Balladeer. We have two Futui Harbingers in Sumeru. We killed Sounds well, like we're in for a one's bad dead. Time. From your description, so we've met four Futui Harbingers already, but we know project. of five in-game. There may in -game. still be room for us to intervene, but then... What is the connection between creating a new god and restoring Ermansoul? Probably no connection yeah. at all. Like but then again, they could use Ermansoul to fuel the new god. I don't know. Goals. That's a stretch right there. I'm just making stuff up at the time. Let's hit the desert for now. Right. We've pretty much gone over everything we need to know, so we should head out. How about you, Tainari? What are you going to do? I'll stay here for now. I still want to try a few more things to help Apasia. If you're planning to go into the desert, start by heading for Caravan Rabat. That'll be your fastest route. Come find me here if there's anything else I can do to help. 
May the spirit of wisdom go with you. Thanks, Tainari. Hopefully, Apasia will feel better soon. We're off then. All right. <laughs>